I thank you. I am trying to find my book. Okay, got it. I so I'll try to be quick. Uh, so I'll pass uh, some uh, some slides at the end, but uh, you can uh, look at them. It's with other apps. Um, so I'm uh, Lee Antoine. Uh, I uh, work as a peer worker in France, which is just just uh, uh, told it, uh, and uh, I declare no no conflict of interest. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so I'll try to say like why peer working new tech and why I use and like apps and chatbots. Um, the example uh, of the chatbot I only uh, I create with uh, Igor Thuriez and Clara Falala uh And uh, the part I I think I want to uh, show or uh, just very quick is uh, the other app like mental health and physical health and uh, other. Um, what can be used and uh, okay, how can it help a mental, mental health professional uh, to work, actually. Um, so just the idea is that uh, you took, you, you, the whole of you uh, took, uh, to told about it, so uh, it's just like it can uh, provide support to for patients and uh, family, friends, uh, relatives, uh, caregivers, and also can be a colleague uh, to healthcare professional. This one at least, and uh, because uh, like human face uh, limits, and uh, so it can be something uh, more. So why I use like and uh, like apps and chatbots? Uh, I uh, I've been. Uh, like I'm a user of uh, psychiatric services uh, for uh, 14 years, I think. And uh, it hasn't always been very nice or sufficient at least. And uh, I, uh, I felt I needed something more non-human uh, uh, to talk to and to work with. So uh, that's why uh, apps and chatbots uh, um, helped and to function out of the hospital too. So here I'll most talk about uh, Oli, um, which is a French chatbot men and mental health um, available uh, all the time. And uh, it's been two years it exists and uh, we are three professional, um, we created it. Um, so uh, a psychologist, Clara, a psychiatrist, Igor, and uh, me, um, just like an alternative or a complete tool in relation to, in relation to give uh, um, like to to support uh, relatives a healthcare professional and to support patients uh, and uh, as the other things uh, it was like it's in co-construction uh, with the users uh, more by uh, exchange uh, on the social media not like in a team uh, we are uh, the three of us are volunteers and we have no found, so we just created it uh, ourselves and learned uh, how to program, etc. Uh, and um, I, like if it was kind of clone of us, uh, like we can't be all the time uh, everywhere with every uh, person in it, so um, it's a clone. Um, because the difficulties for patients uh, and uh, relatives uh, and healthcare professionals, so um, it be, can be time between therapy sessions uh, for patients, uh, difficulties in the everyday life, uh, for difficulties to, for accessing uh, care or certain type of therapy um, because of the distance or the cost or the an existence uh, in the area. Um, and also a isolation, stigmatization, and the relative uh, exhausted, etc. cetera. Uh, and uh, healthcare professional, maybe relatives, uh, they sometimes can feel uh, useless, helpless. Uh, they have lack of time to help uh, users and uh, uh, like they can worry about the patients when they are on their own and um, some difficulty to manage different therapy tool like you can't uh, know everything and um, wondering uh, how to support patients uh, employment I think I think uh, that's kind of that because I'm not uh, 
like a nurse or but uh, so uh, the three of us try to give like solutions for patients. So a uh, kind of creative re response. Um, it's it, it's kind of relief for patients, families, uh, uh, relative and mental health professionals. Uh, it's a additional source, source of support. So helpful. Uh, uh, helpful tool uh, and uh, new therapy tools available, accessible to the public, uh, and uh, can help to empower users uh, to take charge of their own recovery and move towards uh, a better quality of life. Um, so, uh, so it's free uh, to use. There is, uh, it's on Messenger, so you can, uh, you'll see that. So it's uh, just uh, like free. Um, so it's easy to access. You just have to type uh, Oli uh, on uh, like like this on Messenger, and then uh, uh, you can talk with uh, Oli as if it was a contact. Uh, so said uh, hello, uh, and it's also kind of empathetic. We try to give her a kind of personality uh, and uh, like uh, with a smiley, and it works with buttons. Um, it's not um, it's not artificial intelligence. We just created uh, like a, a tree uh, of decisions, uh, so person can click. And there are uh, there are also um, crisis management. So if people type SOS, uh, there is other crisis tools appearing, or they can go to the uh, at the the bottom. It's a, a crisis uh, toolbox. Um, so you can click and uh, uh, say what you want and what you need. And uh, if you were in a kind of crisis one day, tomorrow, the day after, she uh, only said, uh, hmm, you were not okay yesterday. How are you feeling today? <laughs> and um, uh, there are also kind of therapeutic ex exercises in the education uh, to uh, learn about uh, relationships, uh, to about communication, uh, about uh, uh, um, feelings and everything. Um, and uh, we did some studies and there are also uh, articles online you can find easily if you type uh, early chatbot. Um, and uh, so it improved, uh, the, um, it helps uh, the depression to like get better and uh, dis dysfunctional suit. And they said uh, it was uh, like complement, the users said it was complementary in adequation with their need. Um, it helped for the autonomy and recovery. Uh, and uh, like disconstructed um, stereotypes uh, because also they, they see uh, when they use the app on the chat boots uh, after, okay, uh, uh, it's not like having mental health uh, issues uh, is not like being uh, totally crazy. And I can also maybe see a therapist or something or ask for help. Um, so uh, here I are two colleagues of Holly. Uh, they are English both. Uh, there is Webot, uh, which is uh, um, uh, American. And it's kind of like funny doing uh, uh, dorky jokes. And uh, Wiza, uh, Wiza Indian, and uh, more like uh, doing a kind of cuddles or things like that. Um, I think I'll go till the end. Here are a type of, uh, type of uh, apps uh, I talk about, but uh, like about uh, pain, uh, how to communicate uh, about this. And uh, um, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, coping exercises and uh, self-assessment uh, anxiety or um, uh, tracker uh, of mood, uh, sleep, uh, sleep time, uh, pills, and uh, etc. cetera. Uh, same, but also with uh, like more um, uh, like the, uh, the colors and the shapes of the maids, meds. I think it helps uh, to maybe to prepare um, a uh, person to go out of the hospital or uh, who has a first treatment to um, get uh, 
employment about uh, the medicine, the medication, so transmit the knowledge uh, to the patients. Um, and I, so there are others you can see later because there are a lot. This one, I'm using it right now. <laughs> and um, so I think I tried to do something. The conclusion is always difficult to do it. So I did it like two minutes before we begin. And uh, um, like, why would uh, uh, the professional, uh, mental health professional nurses use chat button apps? Uh, first, it helps patients. So I think when something helps patients, it helps professionals. Um, you can see also the patient's progress between two therapeutic, uh, maybe edu uh, education groups. And also in some apps, you, uh, people can share uh, their report. So uh, if they want to, so they can share uh, what's uh, happening. And um, I think it can improve the relationship between professional and users if, they, uh, if it's uh, like, uh, used together or uh, the user is getting like, uh, I, I don't know, well, if they use it together and uh, as a continuum after hospitalization to appointments to back home, uh, when maybe you feel lonely or uh, you, you can't, uh, there, there were app for routines, et cetera. So um, if you uh, uh, go back home or be alone and need a uh, need, uh, kind of uh, support or tools, uh, it can be like good tools. And uh, like how to use them, like a uh, whole nurse and mental health uh, professionals, uh, it's a suggestion only. But um, I think uh, um, don't, uh, the idea is not to say to a person, uh, just use this app. It's just uh, if the person uh, asks for help or said something that looks like an app or need of chatbot, um, I think it can be interesting or just uh, put uh, like uh, uh, flyers on the wall or something. Um, and if you ask to a person uh, if uh, if the person wants to use it, like maybe uh, she'll come. The person will come back uh, six months after and say. Uh, um, okay, you told me about an app or something. Uh, can you show me again how it, how it works? Because I I want to use it now, and uh, and also it's time for like uh, a, a professional who don't deal with mental health problem, even even if there are like difficult times, um, just like test the apps and the chatbots, and uh, so you can share your experiential knowledge uh, with the person you uh, uh, you take care of and uh, so I think by sharing um, like by sharing what uh, why you used it at the moment like uh, I was very uh, anxious because uh, I had a presentation to do so I used this and it helped me to calm down or something uh, it can help the relationship. And uh, also, I do think uh, chatbots and apps uh, really don't replace uh, mental health professional. It's like uh, an additional help. And um, with the idea that uh, I, uh, for Oli, uh, I'll show you again the, well, the end, sorry, um, users. Uh, uh, it's used uh, mostly uh, between like maybe uh, 10 p.m. and 3 a.m. So a time where there are not other professionals or friends, etc. And uh, people said like they don't feel judged. Uh, so sometimes it's not easy to talk with professional or to talk to person you know. So I think uh, so there are maybe uh, 15... Uh, thousand, yeah, fifteen thousand uh, person using Oli, and um, and most we we don't have bad um, returns from them, and about confidentiality, we try to like find a way not to be 
in the messenger um, uh, confidentiality rules, but uh, we need funds and time and we all work. So uh, it's, uh, it's on the way to do the, uh, so anyone can use it. You've got, ah, you've got uh, the link and uh, you, you can contact us uh, by uh, email. Uh, it's a French one, but it's the only French one. And uh, there are many uh, English colleagues. And uh, I think that's it. I've, I tried to make it short, but I think it's not so short.